Hi, Steve Nesson here, founder and CEO of CountTrust.com, and I want to welcome you to Spotlight. These are very short videos to give you, as shown here, quick ideas to improve your trading and investing. And just to give you a heads up, uh, we have the risk disclosure. You can see this entire risk disclosure at the link below. But just want to remind you that trading is risky. Trading or invest investing is risky. So be sure to check out the disclosure if you're interested. So let's do a quick educational video for this time. So we're going to be looking now. Uh, here we have a series of bearish engulfing patterns. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, that is when a red candle wraps around a green real body. So these are bearish signals. Interesting how in this market and whatever we talk about works in all markets and all time frames. Uh, we always we got bearish signals just before the market declined. So we had a clean cut resistance area here, clean cut support area over here. And notice this vertical arrow over here. This is one of my favorite ways of getting a price target. We call it a box range breakout. Essentially in Japan, rather than a lateral trading range, they call it a box range for obvious reasons. And you need a resistance area tested at least twice, as it was here, 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 and actually over here, kind of the zone here, and a support area tested at least two times. So right here, right here, and right here. So essentially a box range. And what I like about this is when the market breaks under or above the top end or the bottom end of the box range, you have a price target. You take the height of the box and either subtract it on a breakout down or add it on a breakout. So in this case, we have this distance here from about 74 to 82, so that's about $8. And once the market closes under the bottom end of the box range, we could then take that $8 subtract it from the bottom end of the box range and get a potential target. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to stop there, but it does give you an area to start looking for bullish candle reversal signals. So notice over here, we still had a black real body, which meant the trend was still down. But the next session, with the gap higher on the opening, this is the close and that's the opening, we actually had a bullish candlestick signal. So this is a nice intersection of using Western technicals, that is, to get a measured target and then using candles to know when to consider going long or if you did a bearish trade, say an option trade, to consider uh, covering the bear trade. So if you like this sort of education and we'll also be doing market updates and so forth, or if you're new to candles, go to this link, www.candletrustacademy.com. We have tons of free information, essentially almost $300 worth of free information. You get my most important trading rule. You get the uh, four common and costly mistakes almost every trader makes. So go to this link here. You'll get this all for free. And if you have any questions, contact Paul at CandleCharts.com. Thank you for joining me.